All right. It's Christmas Eve. Bro. I'm going to go have uh, breakfast with my family. And then I shall return. I still got to edit this. But man, Vlogmas has been a pain in the ass. Because I want to start early today. But I got to edit the video. But anyways, I'm having breakfast with my family. And then I will be back. I got to wrap my gifts. I got to get boxes. I got to wrap my presents. So today, I don't know. It might be a late night. Who knows? But... It is 9.55 a.m. And we start our day. It's a gloomy day in South Florida on a Christmas Eve. I want to try to summarize what my night was yesterday when I, I signed off at the Supercharger in Boynton Beach. You know what? For next year, I think I failed, bro. I think I failed, bro. I got to get the fuck out of Miami for Christmas. Can you believe it was exponentially busier up there than it was down here? I think maybe it's the Hispanic family thing. You know, Latin Americans, this is not a time for partying or going out with, you know, friends. You know, these people working out. Look, it's New Year's resolutions time. Huh? Yeah. Go for it, buddy. What I mean is, I left Boynton Beach. I said, okay, I'm not that far from Delray. So I drove to Delray. Immediately got a ride. Got a ride from Delray to Boca. I'm like, cool, we're going, we're going south. We're going south, this is good news. Took this couple to Boca. Okay, great. Delray Beach. Right there on Atlantic Avenue, looked like spring break. That's how many people were, it was traffic, it was jammed. And there was young people partying, going from that tin roof place to the other place. It felt like it was spring break. So I'm like, fuck man, I should have been here all night. I go to Boca, get this bro. I obviously wanna go back to Miami, right? It's like fucking two, it's like 12.30, two, no, it's like two o'clock in the morning, right? I get a ride from Boca, right where I dropped off that couple, from Boca to Club Space, downtown Miami. You know how much UberX wanted to pay me? Or paid me, because I took it. $24.74. Um, not even 25, like just a quarter, uh, 26 cents short of $25. From Boca Raton to downtown Miami, and it it had pockets of rain down I-95. People were fucking speeding. It was crazy. To put that in perspective, I took it, right? And the girls were nice. And actually, it turned out to be a good ride because they tipped me like 12 bucks or something. They tipped me well. So it ended up being like $32 or something. So I'm not complaining. But bro, Uber wanted to pay me under 25 bucks from Boca to Miami? That's crazy, bro. I mean, it didn't take that long, but I took it. Then I go drive by the Grove. And I get a ride to the airport. I posted it on my Instagram. I'll put the screen grab right here. Bro, at that time, after driving all the way back from West Palm Beach, Wellington area, Royal Palm Beach, whatever the hell, wherever the hell I ended up, I drove all the way down. And they wanted to send me to Fort Lauderdale Airport for 22 bucks. I'm like, fuck, that would have broken the 200 because I was at 193. But I said, no, nah, you know what? I I've been driving too long. My tires in the front are wasted. I'm not taking the risk, man. And I got to drive to Boca this week. You know, I drive to Boca every day, every week. So I'm not gonna put any extra wear on this car and then I would have to charge again. Fuck that. So that's the recap. So I made it back down to Miami very quickly. Two rides basically from Boynton Beach. Went to Delray, went to Boca, Boca to downtown. But bro, it's kind of crazy, man, right? Just 
the, the low fares. I mean, they are Uber X rides, but still, guys. All right, I'm gonna have Noche Buena breakfast with my family, and then I'm coming home. So maybe I should diamond transition. Diamond transition. Diamond, diamond transition. Diamond transition. Okay, that wasn't, that was just breakfast. I, I'm never going to breakfast again with my family. I ordered something, it never came. Another waitress came, asked me what I ordered, it still didn't come. It's just, we, we invite too many people, and the restaurant's small, and it's always a pain, and no one, no one gets what they want. It was just a big, complete waste of time. I didn't even eat. I ate like Austin's eggs that he didn't eat. And some coffee. Great, all right. I'm gonna edit the video and then, I don't know, maybe just rest for a little bit and then I'm gonna hit the ground running later on this afternoon. All right, um, it's 3.30 p.m. I'm uploading yesterday's vlog and I'm, I'm hitting the road. I still have to do a couple of things related to Christmas shopping and my mom says the Dollar General or the dollars tree has boxes because I need to wrap my presents. That's probably going to be tonight or tomorrow morning. <laughs> cutting it close, guys. We're cutting it close. Let's get out of here. All right. South Miami activated with Premier. Group chats all over the place. We don't know. There's no strategy. Some people are starting early. Some people are starting late. You know, but everybody's making their 200 plus, grinding it. Sometimes you have to work more hours than others. That's the deal. That's the name of the game, I think, with this. Especially with the Teslas. It's like, yeah, you can make 200 a night and more. Sometimes you do it in six hours. And sometimes you have to do it in 10 hours, but you can do it. All right. Bro, I just caught Tucker Carlson interviewing fucking Kevin Spacey as Frank Underwood. What a great troll, bro. He started off serious. He's like, hey, uh, the, you know, the election set, but you know, there's still time to get into the race. And then you're like, what, who is he talking about? At first I thought it was like, is he going to like troll us for like interviewing Santa Claus? Cause that would have been a funny little bit. But then it was Kevin Spacey as Frank Underwood from House of Cards. And uh, what a great troll, bro. Okay, okay come on, bro. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. It's fucking. It's fucking. God damn it, bro. People don't turn even when the fucking light turns red. All right, I'm gonna grab a two cheeseburger meal. Nothing's ringing, and uh, plow through this day. Maybe I'll go to Dadeland Mall. All right, change of plans. Fuck Dadeland Mall. <laughs> I've done. I've decided to come to the place of the land of Venezuela. The land of Venezuela known as Dolphin Mall. That's right. This is the place, we might as well be in Little Caracas. Um, this is a favorite for people visiting from Venezuela and Colombia. People recently moved from Venezuela to Doral. Um, and it's a pretty damn cool mall, and it's an outlet mall. And there's just gonna be more choice here. Cause basically, you know, I know what I'm gonna get if I go to Macy's or Nordstrom Rack again, you know. Here, I think I got some more options. There's a Bloomingdale's outlet here. There's an Off Fifth. I just need to get three more people presents, so. Here we are. And you know what? It doesn't seem that crazy. You know what's crazy? This is crazy. That I'm seeing parking spots, like right here, next to the entrance of the mall. Like, is it closed? This mall was notorious, notorious for, um, look, there's a Burlington. This mall was notorious for the long lines during Christmas Eve, Christmas weekend. I'm telling you guys, this, this Christmas isn't the same as any others I've that I can remember. It's just not. It's just weird. 
look at look at all this parking. Are you fucking kidding me? On Christmas Eve? Dude, there would be look at that. There would be people. Oh, I remember coming here. Because I'm always a last minute shopper. I'm exactly what these people want. I'm a last minute shopper. Right now, right here, we'd be fighting. People would be honking, surfing around, looking for spots. Parking lot at Dolphin Mall, December 24th. Unbelievable. This is, is the mall going out of business? This is like an abandoned mall. And it's... It's at the fucking asshole. It's at the busiest day of the fucking year. This should be the busiest the mall is ever. And there's empty spot. It's crazy, man. I, I just don't know what to think anymore. I, I, I don't know anything. The world is upside down. Look, here's the entrance to Bloomingdale's. You know what? I'm going to just find parking right by here. Let's see how long it takes me to find parking. Oh, look, handicap zone. That's unbelievable, bro. <laughs> Once again, my handicap pass rendered useless. <laughs> Like, it's just a guy believing right there on a regular spot. Like, 10 spots for me. Unbelievable. All right. I'm not going to take the camera inside the mall. I'm just going to do what I got to do and then get back here as soon as possible. All right. God damn it. I say god damn it a lot, too. All right. I've got... I went to the Bloomingdale's outlet and I went to Off Fifth because, bro... People are hard to fucking shop for, man. I'm telling you, bro, I don't... That's why I save it for the last minute. This this is a woman's job, this whole holiday shopping. Oh, she'll love that. Oh, you can get her this and that. I, I hate this shit. I love it when you're like, you got two people left or one person left. You already got one. And you're like looking around. Oh, should I get this? Should I get that? And then I'll always then then right as you're about to end your shopping, you always see something that would be perfect for somebody you already got a gift for. And I'm like, oh fuck, I should have gotten him this instead of the other thing. Fuck. So you end up getting it anyways. Oh, I'll just give him two presents. God damn it, bro. A man isn't I like shopping, but I like shopping for myself. I don't like I don't know what other people like or what, what they would find useful or what they're into or it's like a gamble for me and most of the time I probably fail I probably get people shit they don't need this is a woman's job it's a wife to do this here honey here's the credit card just take care of it you know here's the debit card just have at it just don't go crazy that's the other thing. You give your fucking wife your credit card, and it's like, holy shit. You know? It's like, bro, we could have spent, like, a fifth less money. But whatever, man. I hate holiday shopping, and I always do it the last minute. Always. And now I have to go to the fucking Dollar Tree to see... Well, thankfully, I got a lot of stuff that came in boxes. So, I have to count now the clothes that I have to purchase garment boxes for because bro that's gonna be another fucking time waster tonight or t tomorrow morning is the um and my family likes to do Christmas fucking first thing in the morning so I'm not gonna have time <sighs> can you tell that I'm stressed out and it's like the time it took to shop for all this shit I could have made the money I spent if I had been active. I feel, bro, I'm predicting it. We're going to get stories on how this was a lack of Black Friday, I already called it. I already said Black Friday was the most depressing Black Friday. I didn't see anybody at malls. I filmed it. Um, 
This holiday shopping season is probably going to be, I'm predicting, the worst on record. The worst, on, even worse than last year. Even worse than whatever COVID was. People are fucking... People are... They're all spent, bro. They're all spent. We, we got nothing. We got nothing left. We're paying $18 for McDonald's meals. So, I mean, what's left? You know, maybe people get creative and, and, and create their projects, uh, and create their, their presents or gift like things, crafts or something or, you know, food or I, I don't know. I don't know what people are doing, but they're not in that fucking shopping mall. I'll tell you that they're not in that, that, that felt like the slow season of, sh of shopping, you know? Like, I've been to that mall on a random... I've been to this mall, bro, on a random Tuesday. And it's been more packed than that. My friend Mike used to work at the Buffalo Wild Wings there. I used to shop there all the time and then go in there and have a beer and talk to him. And uh, that mall was always jammed. And not so anymore. All right. I'm tired of talking about how everything sucks and everybody's broke. And this is the most depressing holiday season ever. But I'm glad I got all my shit done. Now we go to the God Dollar Tree. And I'm getting and I'm getting notifications in there that there are surges and shit. So, like, who knows how much I'm fucking losing just by doing all this shit last minute. But what are you going to do, man? It's the holiday season. Is it unprofessional to log on with all this shit in my car? What if I get four people? Anyways, I don't see any surging right now. No. So. All right, we're going back home, bro. It's impossible. It's impossible to start early on Christmas weekend. Impossible. No way. And Vlogmas. I can't wait for Vlogmas to be over. All right. We are at the Dollar Tree. All right, let's just make this as fast as possible. Bro, this would be a pain doing this tomorrow because I think everything's closed tomorrow. Even Publix, I think. All right, so I got this stuff. See that little section there? It's, that's where all the boxes are and it's like all gone. I got what I needed though. And now it's sprinkling. Spent 11 bucks. I got some scotch tape too, because like... See, all this stuff, like I said, this is a woman's job. You know, decorative and making things look pretty and, you know, putting things in boxes. A man, a man has no reason to go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, unless he wants a Reese's. All right, Jesus Christ, man. Is it over yet? I just want it to be over. God damn it, bro. It's six o'clock already, man. Might as well not even work. Not even work. And mom's gonna ask me, aren't you coming? I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna come. I don't wanna come. No one's gonna miss me. No one misses your boy. No one misses your boy. No one cares. No one cares. All right, let's go home. I'm gonna diamond transition until I'm ready to get into character. Okay? Diamond transition. Diamond, diamond transition. transition. Diamond transition. Okay. We are leaving South Miami, 57th Avenue South. I just told the group chat. You know what's happening right now? Dolphins games in the third quarter. Who's winning the Dolphins game? Dolphins, 16 to 7. Six minutes left in the third quarter. I'll tell you what's happening. I told this to the group chat. All these little dipshit husbands are glued to the TV right now in their little mansions. And their wives are putting on their makeup, getting ready. They're, we're late. Honey, honey, when are you going to do this? Honey, what about this? Honey, that. Pipe down, woman. Let me just finish watching the Dolphins game. We'll leave when we leave. Anyways, your your sister's never ready. Come on, we always show up there early and we have to wait like an hour and a half before we eat. Blah, blah, blah. Cuban time. Cuban time. I know my people, bro. 
right now, like right now, I bet you if I go to where I'm eating Noche Buena, they're not ready. No one's ready. So right now, we wait patiently. Only premiere on. As soon as that Dolphin game gets close, that doesn't even have to end. As, lo as long as it's, Dolphins are winning and we're like three minutes, unless it's really close, to the fourth quarter, as soon as that game lets out, or that game is settled, we're gonna start getting them them our rides, and I bet you this map's gonna light up. Been getting some surges, but they've been coming and going. Look at the airport's at 475, because no one in their right mind is at the airport right now. So, all right, we're heading south. Patiently waiting, premiere only. I told these guys, don't even sign into Comfort Electric unless shit gets fucking tough. We don't know, you never know. But if you give people the option to do the lower categories, that's what they're gonna pick. But right in here where there's fucking mansions and shit that look like goddamn hotel resorts, you force them, they look at what's gonna be faster. If premiere's gonna be faster, premiere's what they order. They don't give a fuck. But if you're signed into Comfort, then you get a Comfort ride. You know? All right. Ooh, wee! Look at this. Look where it starts. Keep his gain 16, bro. I would love to get a ride from here to there. That would be awesome. A lot of these people are friends. These little millionaires. They're oh, let's, we're gonna go to Keep his gain for our for Noche Buena today our cousin's house or whatever, our rich uncle or whatever, whatever, dad's house. Yep. I'm predicting all this shit. All right. All right, I'm parked at a park here in South Miami in a good neighborhood. I haven't got anything yet. I'm waiting. Only thing I've seen is a dollar surge in this area. Kibis Kane is not lit up anymore. There's surges in downtown, the Miami Beach. I don't know. Am I making a mistake by staying in this area? I don't think so. I think I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. Dolphin game hasn't ended yet. All right. All right. I decided to go to the Charger, but this is not good, people. This is exactly what happened last week. With that other game, the freaking, what was it, the Titans or something? Two minutes left. And the Dolphins are down by one point. Bro, this is going to be the most depressing Noche Buena in the history of Miami. Mark my words if they lose. Who's winning the Dolphins game? Okay, we averted that mess. They won in the last minute, thank God. I'm at 83% and I'm gonna head out now. That was a close one, bro. People should start leaving to their parties now. The Phantom Surge is hitting with Premier Hourly on. Usually, it only hits with Premiere on, but we have to put Premiere hourly on, and then you get way more. Look at this $9 surge here by Old Cutler. See, sometimes I forget to check the other ones, and the group chat is actually the one that reminded me, because we weren't seeing these surges with just Premiere on, so we have to add it. We, we add the other thing, and now they're everywhere. So... Man, downtown Miami is all red. Miami Beach, all red. North Miami Beach, all red. The event, the Dolphin game, thank God they won. $14 surge up there. I guess I could have gone up there and found a ride back here, but uh, whatever. All right, was driving up Old Cutler. First premiere ride, $20 plus. At first I thought it was this uh, night garden thing that's happening, but no, it's inside, uh, it's inside one of these gables by the sea. So, all right, we begin. First premiere ride, 
8.01 p.m. All right, an apartment building by Baptist Hospital. Driving some uh, somebody's parents from the house there in Gables by the Sea. Hey, all good, man. 20 bucks in the bank now. Bro, there's still surges everywhere here. There's a surge right above me. But I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep going east. Look at that. It's exploding in that Pinecrest area. I probably got one of the first rides out of there. I'm just gonna come back. It wasn't that far. It's just a little bit west. Just plowing through, bro. Kendall Drive. Kendall Drive, back and forth. Literally, that's all I did. From here to Old Cutler Road. Man, I would love to do $20 off rides back and forth like this. Let's see until when this lasts. All right, I'm back on 57th Avenue, which turns into Old Cutler. Approaching a surge. Group chat, rumblings, getting impatient with Premiere. They're capturing the surge, coffee cupping it, and then putting comfort on. Which they say if you have a strong enough surge, pays like Premiere. Cool, cool. All right. I'm gonna rough it out, bro. I'm gonna wait it out, bro. I'm gonna wait it out. I got the patience, bro. I'm gonna wait it out. Like this person that I just drove right now came. Wait for the next one, bro. It's gonna be a fucking exodus of people out of these houses, man. And if not, we're gonna move into Coconut Grove or Brickle. Fuck it. But we're gonna give Premier a shot to ring. We got 575 surge right now. I just wanted to capture this on. I just wanted to capture this on camera. Look at this fucking dis inflatable display here. How huge it is. All right, I guess I should give an update. I would have done like two rides. I had the worst luck. So I'm there in the Pinecrest area. I'm in Miami Beach right now. All right, here we go. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm gonna turn this shit off. I had a $12, I got a $12 surge right there by Coco Plum. All right, cool. So Premiere wasn't hitting, but I'm like, all right, I got a $12 surge. I could turn Comfort on, Comfort Electric. I got a Comfort paying like a Premiere. I show up, wrong address, guy doesn't respond. I'm sitting there waiting, I had to cancel. Still had the 12 bucks, Was everything was ice fucking gray. And then I was like, well, I got this 12 bucks, bro. Let me just turn everything on, coffee cup it again. Put on X, I got an X ride, another fucking wrong address. I got two wrong addresses. And finally I got this premiere ride to Miami Beach that I just did. Couple from Little Havana to Miami Beach, paid 32 bucks, so. And now look at this. Now that they send me to the beach, now where I was is like crazy fucking busy. So, just bad luck, bad luck. So, whatever. I'm crossing the bridge again and uh, seeing what we can do. Fuck, man. This is not turning out to be a good night. And, uh, well, it's still early. It's 10. So, I got a reservation for 315. Gables by the sea to the airport. So, that's good news. And it's premiere. So I'm not that worried, but you know, we're plowing through. Fucking A. Two unresponsive customers with wrong addresses. What are the odds with a $12 surge? Miami Beach has got a lot of friends gatherings, you know? Fuck this. All right, approaching Coral Gables again, and uh, got another premiere ride, $25. Let's fucking hit it. It's actually kind of closer to South Miami. 
and it's going back here into Brickle. Moving on! <laughs> it's taking a little patience, but little by little, bro. I'm not in a hurry. It's fucking Christmas Eve. What the fuck? It's been a long year. Alright. We're in Brickle. SLS Brickle. Ever since that lady told me these shady stories about this hotel, I'm so skeptical about everybody I drop off here. Um, yeah, these guys were, I don't know. Let's just say they weren't really in the holiday spirit. Could have been a father-son team. Shade. You're talking about Xanax. They were coming from a, the, the the place I picked them up looked like a big party where there was catering. Well, whatever, shady South Americans, bro. And I don't know. I always get freaked out when they ask me to lower the window back there. I'm like, oh fuck, is this guy dizzy? Put put up the air. All right, there's a ten dollar surge on the Rickenbacker. Ooh, four fifty on the. Fuck, bro. Every time I leave the fucking grove, look at this shit. Look at the surges. You know? As soon as I leave, uh, I'm not that far away. But, um... Yeah, the thing is... You know, some of these people that have... Uh, they, they're dress gaudy, kind of like flamboyant, like Gucci hat, Gucci camp cat hat, a lot of logos, you know, like, hey, look at me, I got expensive clothes on, and it's kind of, you know, they talk about stealth, uh, stealth luxury or whatever, it's like the stealth wealth or something, you know, it's like, like if, if you really have money, you don't, you're not wearing shit with Gucci logos all over the place. And I get that. And so when you see somebody and they're talking about drugs, you're like, mm. Mm. I mean, let's face it. Drug dealers got to work on Christmas Eve too, right? You know, you got a lot of rich people that do drugs. They invite their dealer. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know what? These sort of just fashionable South American uh, father and son team uh, visiting a friend's house. That's all it was. Yep, that's all it was, Mario. Never mind. The only thing you care is that they ordered fucking premiere to get here. All right. So I'm taking Bayshore Drive back into Coconut Grove, South Miami. Core Gables area. Just want to give it a little once over. Anytime you speculate something like that, I don't want to find another little baggie back there. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you guys. I'm only seven short of a thousand. Bro. I might have to live stream tomorrow. Fuck, Christmas Day? Could it happen on Christmas Day? Somebody commented, it, it'll be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it's really not a big deal. I mean, I want it to happen, don't get me wrong, but it's really not a big deal. And anyways, as soon as I hit a thousand, Willie's gonna unfollow me, that fucking prick. He's going to unfollow me. I guarantee you this. Watch. It's going to happen. I'm going to predict it. He's going to unfollow me and screen grab 999 and then send text it to me. Watch. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Oh, God, man. All right. I almost forgot I was vlogging. I uh, got a, another Gables by the Sea order. And I'm picking them up now. And it's going into Coral Gables north by Merrick Park. <sighs> um.
Um, all right, so I don't know. I think I, I don't want a long video to edit tomorrow. So after this drop off, I'm gonna kind of wrap things up. All right, these houses are incredible, bro. Look at this, look at this shit, bro. Are you kidding me? All right, dropped off that couple here in Coral Gables. It's 12 midnight and there was fireworks. I wish I could have filmed them. There was fireworks right there off US-1 and Douglas Road. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Obviously I got that reservation at 315, but I'm gonna keep working from till that point. Um, Okay, just Palmetto Bay and Pinecrest and Gables by the Sea still lit up. Uh, you know, I'm just taking it, taking it easy, doing it. Hopefully, I can break 200 tonight, as I have well, almost yesterday. I was seven bucks short yesterday. Uh, and Friday, I, I, I did break 200. So, I mean, it's been kind of slow. Obviously, I could have started earlier, but. It's Christmas time, bro. You gotta do Christmas shit, you know? It's been Vlogmas Sunday. It is at absolutely Christmas, because it's 12.07. So Merry Christmas to all my sus subscribers. Thanks for following me this year and putting up with my crazy lunacy. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's informative. Sometimes it's downright madness. Sometimes it's boring. And, you know, I'm not a perfect person. I try to vlog my reality, my existence. You know, to a point, right? Uh, and uh, Merry Christmas to you guys and your families. Be safe on the road. I already seen some crazy people driving. Um, that's it. Vlogmas for New Year's Eve is over. It is Christmas. Tomorrow will be the final day of Vlogmas. I don't even know how much I'm going to vlog. I don't know. I guess we'll play it by ear. i got to edit this one tomorrow after I open presents and do all this shit. Still gotta wrap presents. Fuck, man. I got a lot of shit to do. You know, honestly... <laughs> I kinda... I kinda don't like Christmas, right? I wish I did. I wish I was a little bit more filled with the Christmas cheer and the spirit but honestly, like, I don't know. And this is not just a new thing. Like, even like since college, I've kind of not liked Christmas. It's always just kind of a stressful time of the year. I actually can't wait till it's over, to be honest with you. Like, you know, tomorrow's like, it's like a relief. It's like, ah, oh, it's over. And obviously I'm skipping out on the true meaning of Christmas, right? The religious aspect of it, you know. Jesus Christ died for our sins. And, you know, going to Midnight Mass. You know, that's another thing that's going on right now. Midnight Mass. Go to the, be smart to go by uh, the... Uh, the uh, did I already say that? I'm going crazy. Alright, whatever. Signing off. Leave a like, comment, and sub... Scribe with a beat, beat, beat. Or if you think I'm sus, then sus scribe. And let's see, tomorrow we might hit that magic number, guys. 1000K, baby. Yeah. All right, bro. Later.